Hi everyone, and today we're going to show you another video tutorial, this one dealing with how to set up your Auto DJ using CentovaCast web control panel for Shoutcast. Um, it's actually pretty simple, uh, but there are some things that you need to do and need to have. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is uh, you want to go ahead and get yourself an FTP uh, uh, software. There are many free ones out there. We recommend FileZilla, and that's what this demonstration is going to be using. So if you want to get FileZilla, all you want to do is you want to point your web browser to FileZilla-project.org. And when you come to this page, don't worry about the, the, the two boxes that say download there. On the left-hand side, you'll see download, and you want to click on that, and that'll take you to this page, which will then, you just click on the download now from Sound uh, SourceForge. Uh, that is your .exe file. Uh, if you prefer the zip file, uh, that link is typically right under it. <clears throat> Once you do that, of course, install it. Uh, and then we can get started. So you should have gotten some information regarding your um, uh, new Shoutcast server, which includes Auto DJ. Uh, one of the things you'll want to do is uh, log into your control panel at CentovaCast, and that information should have been given to you by your provider. And uh, we're going to do that here for purposes of this. The username is demo, and we'll get in there. And this is probably what you're going to see when you get there. You'll see that it says <clears throat> you have no listeners, server status is offline, source status is offline, and source connected, no. Uh, that is typically because many times, uh, well, because either you're disabled or, the, not you disabled, but <laughs> because the server is disabled, or because you just don't have any uh, music or files in, in on the server yet. <clears throat> So that's the first thing you want to do, but you, you need your FTP information. And the way you get that uh, simply is by clicking right over here on the left-hand side where it says Quick Links. You want to click on Quick Links. And then right down here, you're going to see FTP Client Connections. And that'll tell you um, what your host name is, what your username is, and then, of course, the password that was sent to you by your provider. Once you have all that information, you can go ahead and open up FileZilla, and you should come to a page that <clears throat> kind of looks like this. Excuse me. The left-hand side is basically your local computer. <clears throat> I've already got it set up for a directory where I'm just going to upload a few files. And then the right-hand side is going to be the uh, server when you connect to it. <clears throat> up on top here... You're going to see host, username, password, port, and quick connect. <clears throat> this is the information that you you got from your um, CentovaCast. Host name, username, password. Okay? So all you want to do in here is simply type in your username. I'm sorry, your host name. That's wrong of me. Your host name, which for us is cp 6 And then, of course, the username and the password. And for port number, um, basically, if you're using an FTP uh, connection, which is what we're doing here, you want port number 21. Pretty simple. Go ahead and click con uh, Quick Connect. And you're going to see that you have now connected to the server. <clears throat> you see three folders here, Sounds, On Demand, and Media. For now, we're going to focus on Media. Um, and what you're going to do is basically just bring the files over. So you want to double click on media, just like that. And there are a couple of things you can do. You can actually create directories in here. So if you want to list your uh, files by artist name <clears throat> or styles or whatever you want to do, you, you, can, you can put directories in here is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, for now, I'm just going to transfer a file over, but it's, it's so simple. Uh, all you want to do is click on the song and drag it over. Or you can click on a couple of songs and drag it over. You just simply click on the first song you want and then just you know select what you want and then drag it over. It's all you gotta do. It's pretty simple. Just drag it over like that. 
So for now, I'm just going to take one, drag it over, put it on the server, and you'll see in about a few seconds that the, the file is now on the server. You need at least one file on the server in order for the auto DJ to work. So this is just about done. Of course, the larger the file, the longer it takes to get on the server. But you'll see here, now it'll appear here shortly. There it is. So now this song is on the server. So let's assume that you've uploaded a bunch of songs into that media folder. Uh, now go back into your CentOvercast <clears throat> and go ahead and click on um, left-hand side where it says Media Library. Now, this is something you're going to want to do every time you add music or add files to your media library. You want to update it. Down here at the bottom, it says Update Media Library. You want to update that library. So click on that. Let it go through its magic. And then you can perform a full library update if you want. Uh, and then go ahead and return when it's done. It'll, it'll say Update Completed Successfully. Tracks Reindexed. Click Return. And you're back at your um, overview page. <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is you want to go to where it says Media Library again. Click on that link yet one more time. Now what you're going to see is are the files here in this little window right here. Uh, a folder with the artist names. So you may have a lot here depending on what you've uploaded. I just did one song. Uh, if you there's, there's two ways you can do this. Now you can take your folder here and if you have other folders just click on the first one um, hold your uh, your shift key and then click on the last one it'll select everything in between but you can simply take your folder here and I'm going to use standard rotation okay you can click it here and just drag it in and it'll take all these folders that you've selected in there remember you can have more than one folder selected click on the first one scroll down get to your last one, hit shift, click, and then just drag it over. The other way you can do it, which, you know, making sure that your tags are right and everything, just go ahead and over here, if you if you see over here, see if I can get here, well, you can't really, it says one album right here. Uh, that's kind of like how many albums it found in that folder for that artist. Um... And then once you click on this on the right hand side, it populates with that album. And if there are multiple songs in that album, it'll list them down here. The neat thing about this is that if you have to change the tag for any reason, you can just quickly right click, you know, rename the track. You can listen to the preview of the track, whatever you want to do. But you can also from here take the file and again drag it over. Now, one thing you should notice, and this will be a good check for you when you're bringing your songs over, and I'll, I'll bring this over from the folder side. Over in standard rotation, I'm just going to drop it in, <clears throat> and you'll see that this down here changes. It tells me that there's 2 minutes and 16 seconds in there. That's how long that file is. So it'll tell you the general um, time of what's in that rotation playlist. Uh, and then once you get all your files in there this will kind of settle down and tell you and then you just click on it and there it is once you have that done i know this is <laughs> a lot of when you get that done but once you get that done um, if you have any kind of um, commercials or spots that you want to do um, if you go to click uh, manage playlist here on the bottom all right um, you see that there's already a playlist call station identification you can turn that on by clicking enable playlist right here and you can also edit it um, because and the reason I'm showing you this is because if you have spots uh, that you want to play it works the same way you give it a, you, you can create let me go back a page here you can create a playlist let's call it spots okay and uh, it's enabled what we want to do here is go interval. And interval means that it's going to play it every so many songs. So let's say every fifth song, I want to play something from this particular playlist. 
And I'll probably leave this playback style the way it is. Play only one randomly selected track from this playlist. And I'm going to save that. And you'll see that it created a, a, a new um, playlist for me here. If I go to the media library, you'll see it here now. What you want to do is anything that's like a spot or a commercial, in this case, of course, you want to drag it into that folder <clears throat> or into that playlist, I should say. Once you start Auto DJ, it is going to play a file from that particular playlist every X number of songs. Really good if you're, if you're advertising any product. So once you get all that done and you have all your songs in the way you want it, uh, click down here at the bottom right where it says Return to Control Panel. And you see that we're still offline, but we do have a song now. So we can play a song now. All you want to do is click Start Server. Once you start Server, you see that your server status is online, your source status is online, and your source connected is yes. Down here you see Server Administration. This takes you to your uh, DNAS page. And there it is. We are streaming here. So we know that that works. Um, other things for you to know about uh, CentovaCast while I'm here <clears throat> is uh, simply um, if I had listeners, which I don't have any right now, but you know you can kind of uh, see who, how many are tuned in. Uh, you can get your statistics, view some logs. Uh, again, your quick links. Code snippets is like if you want to put some coding on your web page, you can use what's here. Um, manage playlist, we just did that. Media library, we did, just did that. Now, if you want to stream live, if you want to stream live, this is really simple. All you need to do is, and you, it, before I go on, you have to give about a minute of time for everything to kick in. Don't keep pushing the button. For this but what you want to do is deactivate the source and you'll get a warning and say hey you know you're going to deactivate your server side streaming source note that any listeners will only hear silence after you perform this action so you should be ready to activate your off-site source which is a live broadcast immediately are you sure you want to proceed you say okay start your program start streaming and boom you're on when you're ready to go from live streaming back to auto dj go ahead and click on activate source and again it'll tell you hey you know this will reactivate the server side store so if if you're streaming live you're going to get disconnected click ok and you'll see that you're back online and it says that the source is connected and yes and auto dj is once again playing so that's kind of like how it works it's, it's really fairly simple but here's one thing that one word of advice i'll give you at DigiStream, for sake of argument, with Auto DJ and most providers with Auto DJ, uh, will give you a limit of 128 kilobits per second. Uh, make sure your files are that, because if not, then you might have to use a transcoder that's built into the system. And if you do that, your provider may not be a very happy camper with you because you're going to be using a lot of resources off the uh, server uh, and and you could cause some trouble on that server. So you don't want to do that, so make sure your files are whatever that maximum bit rate is for the auto DJ. Um, so, so be sure you do that. Uh, upload your files first. Figure out how you want to do the playlist. Um, it, it's really really very simple get yourself the ftp program upload the files and just have a great time uh, doing that i've heard some great stations using auto dj um and it works so hopefully this helps you um and we'll see you next time at the next tutorial take care everybody happy streaming